<clears throat> the air was thick with smoke. The screams of the dying had abated, leaving only the sounds of determined battle. The streets ran red with streams, lakes, and rivers of blood. Human and Naga mingled to the point that it was impossible to tell whose was whose. Corpses were everywhere. The distinction between samurai and peasant no longer mattered. The only thing that mattered was the number of human bodies and the massive corpses of the Daga warriors that were left twitching and writhing where they were. The peasant district of the second city was gone. The worst of the fighting had been centered there, and the flames had consumed everything. Three times the Naga had taken the city. Twice the samurai had pushed them back to reclaim it. After the third charge, there was nothing left to reclaim, and the samurai had fallen back to other districts. All that remained were charred remnants of buildings and a heart-wrenching sea of bodies. Hundreds or thousands of lives lost in a battle that ultimately accomplished nothing. Shinjo Selu lifted his blade and cut through the abdomen of a dark Narga warrior, only the creature's spine keeping it in a single piece. The ivory champion's shoulder was screaming in pain and he could no longer feel his arm but he could not rest. He shouted the battle cry of the second city guardsmen, listening for their responses, and there were fewer each time. He wiped a mixture of sweat and blood from his face and checked the ties he had used to bind his sword to his wrist. They were too wet with blood, but he had no time to be concerned with how unclean it was. Where are our reinforcements, fellow? Unsure if any of his subordinates were still alive to hear him. There are, there are none, Commander. An unfortunate, an, an unfamiliar voice called out to him. The entirety of our forces are committed to defending the military district. There are none to spare, my lord. Selu so cursed explosively, mentally condemning the Waco Seki with a tirade that he would know that he would never or could ever give voice. If the Imperial heir had not conscripted so many of the Second City Guardsmen and the Ivory Legion, the situation would have been vastly more manageable. But the past cannot be changed. The dead cannot be restored. And the city could not be, could be nothing but rebuilt assuming that any survive the battle and conflagration to do so. We will have to be the reinforcements then, he said, his face with a grim. We finish the next charge. Then happy you follow me to the gatehouse. Salu Sama, a man approached on horseback, his face terrible with a mixture of blood, stained flesh and gray ash. The wall of the Imperial District has been breached. The battalion holding the region has been slain to a man. A dagger of fear thrust into Selim's chest. To the governor's estate, he shouted. None shall cross this threshold while we men live. The dark Naga could no longer speak, for its body was twisted in such a way that human speech was impossible. Nevertheless, as its body dies and its mangled and malevolent spirit, so far removed from the physical component of the Akasha, finally died. It screamed. The sound tore through the souls of the Naga enslaved to its will, many of them perishing in an instant. The sound resonated throughout all of Second City, causing nosebleeds and headaches among the survivors that would last for many days. And as it resonated so far that even some hint, some hint of it, 
some spiritual echo reach the depths of the Shinamin Mori in the Empire of Rokuna. And there, in the darkest depths of the forest, more than 100,000 serpentine souls heard that fateful cry and they each awakened from their slumber. So, my voice is a little hoarse, so I apologize ahead of time. But because the Dark Naga was defeated, and that the second city remained, the Naga will return to the game as a fully playable and supportive faction in 2016. Once again, everyone, I want to thank you very much for your attendance at Gen Con, and have a great rest of the summer.